What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao back again with episode 2 of Let's Play Hearthstone. So as you can see, I made it to level 19. Ooh, I get something cool for it. Let's see what it is. Well, that's pretty cool. So you make it through a level, or I guess in the season, I guess, if you make it through a level, or a certain level, you get prizes. So let's see what I get. I get 10 dust. Okay, don't really care about that. Explosive trap, I already have that, so I'll probably already dust it. And a new season card back. Cool. So what am I starting at today? We'll see, we'll see. So I'm back in London. Um, I'm gonna be back to my normal schedule in terms of streaming, so be sure to check those out. I'll probably start streaming tomorrow after work. Um, oh crap, I get to start at 23 again, so my episode one didn't really matter at all. Um, but that's okay guys, because we're just gonna grind it again. Um, so let's go ahead and play some battles. So in episode one, I actually forgot to uh, for those of you who don't know who, uh, like what Hearthstone is, Hearthstone's been out for a little while. It's a card game. You collect cards. Um, if any of you have played Magic the Gathering, it's kind of like a, not a dumbed down version, but like a simplified version of that. So it's pretty cool. Um, yes, I am repping my alma mater right here, Penn State. What's up? Uh, Nittany Lions, let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead with our uh, lock, uh, hand lock deck, and let's play some uh, ranked matches. So I'm at 22 right now. And let's see if I can grind some matches out today. So as you guys know, tournament ends for Clash of Clans uh, end of tonight, I believe. I think in London time, it's morning tomorrow. Because I think they go by either Pacific Standard Time or by Eastern Standard Time. So uh, right now, both of my accounts are shielded. I'm going to pull a session later today, so hopefully I'll do a video on that later. But right now, let's do episode two of Let's Play Hearthstone. So Sludge Busters are pretty good, but I think I'm gonna mulligan all three. Um, because, so how, so how this game works is you have crystals, right? So each turn you gain one crystal, and you see the, uh, each card has a, a crystal amount. So basically you wanna mulligan for something that uh, you can play either early on, or something that you can you value and you can play mid-turn or whatever. Again, I'm not the biggest pro. Uh, or even the slightest pro. I'm kind of a noob at this actually. I don't think I can do turn one. So, um, so each hero that you can choose, so right now I'm choosing Warlock, uh, I'm against a Hunter deck, and so each hero has an ability, right? So Hunter, so his ability is cost two of those stones, and you can deal two damage to my face, so that's pretty cool. Uh, mine's like, I get to draw a card, but it costs me two, two life, so. I think that's the first thing I might do because it says uh, your other beasts have one plus, uh, plus one attack. So I think this guy's going face hunter, which means that like he's basically trying to just kill me within the first couple turns. So let me he go ahead and just kill that. I'm going to do bullet control, pick up a card. Cool. End my turn. And we'll see what he does. So that's the thing I mentioned in episode one that's tough is when you fight in the beginning of the season, you don't know who you're paired up against. Whereas... If you're fighting mid-season, you know the people that are around rank 20 to 25 are really crap. So you can climb pretty easily. Whereas in the beginning, everyone, in the beginning of every season, everyone's climbing. So um, so you don't know who you're gonna get. So you might get someone who's actually pretty damn good, um, or you might get some scrubs. So I have some pretty good cards in my hand, but this this deck is really cool to watch and fun to watch because um, basically it gets down to really clutch plays at the end. So the goal is is like. You know, they, they try to do as much damage as they can, and basically I'm trying to stall until I have the right cards in my hand to really just end the game in one or two turns, so. Um, and I think he knows that, so. Whenever friendly beast dies. Okay, so he's playing a beast deck. And he's trying to, I think he's trying to go face with it, we'll see. But next turn I can deal three damage to all cards, so I can, all characters, so I can um, clear the board next turn, which is pretty nice, let's see. So this Molten Giant, so this this uh, handlock deck relies heavily on Giants, and Giants cost a lot of stones, like 20 stones, but look, it costs one less for each damage your hero has taken, so when this hero has taken like, you know, a bunch of damage already, when it's down to basically 10 health, it's zero, it costs zero, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and clear the board, actually. And let's see what he does. So I have Twilight Drake game, well, plus one health for each card in your hand, so I'll probably play that next turn, since I have two, four, six, seven cards, I'll have eight cards next next, next turn, excuse me, and uh, we'll go from 
there, I think. Because I don't think there's ever anything else I can play. Defender of Art is I wanted to do. He was friendly beast plus two plus two and pawn. So he's playing cards that he doesn't even need to play right now. Um, so I'm gonna play that and end my turn. So he's got he's a four eight now because of all the cards that I have in my hand, which is actually pretty ideal. Um, and then next turn, hopefully I can play something else. Hopefully I can get a good draw next turn, and then I can put down my uh, Sun Fury Protector, which is uh, adjacent minions taunt. So what taunt does is um, it makes it so that it uh, other. Well, how do I explain it? Uh, it makes it so that uh, enemies have to attack that card or like any cards with taunt uh, before uh, it could attack anything else. So basically it's your like meat shield against anything. So you want to put your taunts on anything that has high health um, and high damage, but mainly high health. So what does this guy do? Give plus one plus one for each other friendly minion from the battlefield. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous. Give a friendly, okay, so dark bomb, I might have to dark bomb that. Just three damage, and then hmm, 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 or I can destroy a minion to restore three health. Restore to three health. Do I want to restore three health? No, I don't. I don't think I want to restore three health. I think I'm gonna draw a card first. Oh, that's actually a pretty good card. Three damage to all characters, so I can actually clear the board again. And yeah, let's do that. Let's clear the board again. Oh no, I should have attacked him first. All right, whatever. Clear the board, clear the board, that's fine. Oh well, I think that was a rookie mistake. I, th I think I should have used my dark bomb and just killed him, but it's okay, it's all good. I think I still got this. He's just gonna hit me in the face. But next turn I have my Molten Giant, which is gonna cost less. I'm gonna use all beast card, draw a card. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do that. Uh, he's gonna do that beast hound thing. There's this card in the game where it's just like summon up like a one-one beast for every um, for every enemy minion. So that's where this is gonna like wreck me. So I gotta really take that out as soon as possible. Um, so I might want to dark bomb. But first, let's see. How many do I have? Seven. Oh, I have perfect amount actually. Molten gun down. The sun tree protected down. I'm gonna dark bomb this dude right there. He's gonna be annoying. And boom! There you go. So now I have board control, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted is board control. So again, this game is this deck is really late game, so as you can see it's 24 health. Each person starts with 30 health. So health to one, crap. Alright, I knew he was gonna hunter mark me. Is he gonna self-suicide? That uh, leper gnome. Let's see. That's crappy. I don't know if that happened. It's okay though. I'll, I'll use my Doctor Doom next turn. He's deciding though. He has 24 health. I have 13 again. Each player starts with 30. So. Down to 11. I, I gotta be careful. Storm wind champion. Okay. Not in Okay, cool. So I have that. But I can do thread maybe in the field to the hero. I can do that. So let's draw a card first. There you go. Okay, I think I'm on a good track. I need my Lord Draxus though. This deck really relies on Lord Draxus. So what Lord Draxus does is, um, he costs 9, but when you're down to like 1 or 2 health, you pop him, and he gives you, uh, you basically replace the hero with Lord Draxus, which is like 50, you get like 15 health, you get a weapon that does damage, and then your ability is like summon 2, uh, summon like a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five for 2 mana, so it's really damn, it's really damn good, really damn good. So let's see, 5-7, oh, that's actually perfect, I think I have perfect combo right here. So I have my Molten, I have my Ancient Watcher, who can't attack, but I can give him Taunt with this. 
boom, right there. And then I'll hit him, and we'll be good. Cool. I think he's getting scared now. He's gonna start hitting me in the face with his uh, with his ability, this one. But good thing I have anti-kill bot. I can heal myself for a little bit. Not have to worry too much. So as you can see, this, this deck is all about board control. Like, all about board control. Um, and yeah, it's like the giants are really, they really come in handy. This is weird though, because I, I would think this guy was was using a, uh, or it was, thought he was going to use a face hunter deck, which is basically a card that are really quick, low mana or low crystals, and basically just deals damage over and over again. Basically uh, kills you but by like turn 5, but he's not really using that strategy, so kind of surprised. Yeah, down to 8 health. Or, I gotta be, I gotta watch out now. Watch out. Oh, he's using that now? Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. Now, now I'm really, really just wrecking. Alright, so what do I want to do? First off, I'm going to do this. No, wait. Ugh. I'm gonna use my anti kill, but I think. No, no, I'm gonna use that. Sludge. Ooh, Sludge Bug. Good card, good card. Okay, I'm gonna use my anti kill bot because I wanna destroy 8 health. Kinda need that. Destroy that taunt because I have to. And then boom, straight to the face with 8 damage. So there you go, like, 8 damage straight to the face. Like, he was in the lead for a, quite some time now, and now he's down to 17 health, so it's actually pretty working out pretty well. Yeah, now he has no choice. He has no cards in his hand, so... Nope, you can't attack him, buddy. You have to attack my, uh, my giant, because I have taunt. There you go. And it's gonna be GG. GG rip. GG rip. Alright, so let's go. Um... Put this down. Put the sludge bucket down, just for safety reasons. Next, if, he, if he can't do anything this turn, he's done. He's GG. He's done. So. Perfect. Okay. He's got a pawn. He's gonna do two damage to me. He's done next turn. I'm surprised he hasn't conceded yet. He should concede. Yep. Well played. There we go. Climbing the ranks. Jorge Yao. Climbing the ranks. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. I think that plane ride made me a little bit sick and congested. But the cool thing is, it's like, so you start at like 25 or whatever in Hearthstone, and each season you climb ranks to rank 1, and once you hit rank 1, that's like your legendary status, and uh, then you become like ranked, then there's tiers I think in rank legendary status, and then you become ranked in the world or ranked in your server, right? So you have legendary, which is like the... RNG badge and then it goes from like whatever rank you are all the way down so let's play another game and then we'll do it and that'll end it for this episode uh episode two of let's play hearthstone hopefully we uh we're on a good track i don't think i've lost one yet in uh in rank match so far even though this is only my second episode so can't really say much all right so we get a shaman deck i'm not really too Knowledgeable of Shaman Death. So let's go ahead and see this stuff. Uh, ooh, I think I should have molded in the Sludge Bulger too. Yeah, I probably should have. But I do like that Molten Giant in my hand. Or the mo Mountain Giant, sorry. So molten, molten. And turn, let's see what it does. Well, his ability is. Uh, Totemic Call, Hero Power, some are random totem. So totems are like, like 0, 2, or 1, 1, depending on what you get. Some of them have cool abilities, some of them don't, so. Let's see how many cards I have. 2, 4, 6, 8, or 2, 4, 6, 7. I gotta keep watch and make sure that uh, I don't go over limit, because then you start burning cards. So when you have 10 cards, that's the max, and then once you get your 11th card, that burns. So, gotta make sure that I'm on point with that. 
let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine. So it's almost about turn two. Alright, let's destroy that for now. Two, four, six, eight. Wait, two, four, six, eight, nine. So let's draw one more card. We'll play this one first though. Uh, 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 uh. The next turn, I'll put the one in my mountain deck. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Next turn, I'll play a mountain giant, and then I'll Sun Fury Protector both. So, so this guy is cool. It's only two crystals, so it's really low. It's a four or five, but he can't attack. So you want to use it with like a Sun Fury Protector, which gives you, uh, which gives a taunt, or you can silence it. And basically, just Wow, what is he doing? He's just going to too hard. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Alright, I need to do a force to this or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I don't really want to, but I will. So, I'm not, I'm not really used to playing shamans. I don't really see shamans too much. I don't know what the current meta is. I probably should look that up before I start playing, but it's okay. I think I'm doing all right for now. What is it? Why does he get more health? Adjacent minions have plus two attack. Uh, these totems are just... Oh, okay, cool. I have Lord Jaraxxus, so at least I'm on a good track. At least good enough track where... No, no, I'm not going to Sludge Ball sure. I am going... Mountain Giant. And then I'm going, I'm going to use my coin, which gives me, so if you go second, you get a coin that gives you an extra mana crystal, uh, whenever you want to use it. So I'm just going to do that, boom. So I have So basically they have to attack these two, my Mountain Giant and my uh, Ancient Watcher before they, before you go to the face with that, um, against my Warlock. But it's cool, it's a cool though, as long as I make it to turn 9, then I'm good, because I have Lord Jaraxxus. And that's the real kicker. That's like, all right, game changer right there. Bloodlust. Give your minion plus three attack this turn. Dang, dang, that's a lot. Dang. Okay. Okay. Or clear. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that because I'm gonna put the sludge down. Sludge balls are such a good card, man. It costs 5 mana, but it's 3-5 taunt, so it has taunt. But Death Rattle is like when it dies, it does something. It summons a 1-2 slime with taunt, so it's like, you kill it, but then it comes back. <laughs> Little weaker, but it still comes back, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, Chill One Yeti. I'm gonna put down another... Oh, if I draw a card... Oh, that's a good combo, so if I draw a card... That makes this five, so I it, I could actually combo that. So before this was actually six mana, mana, and I couldn't put it down. But because I drew a card, now I can put it down. Ooh, using both of those. That's actually a pretty cool combo. I'm actually proud of myself for thinking of that. <laughs> oh, this is a that's a legendary card. What is it? Wind Fury Charge Divine Shield Taunt. Holy crap! Holy crap! But he has no idea what's coming to him right now. Boom. Boom. The owl. This dude. Silence. Yep. Don't mess with me, bro. Don't mess with me, bro. I will wreck you. Son. actually really dangerous that I did that. But next turn I'm gonna Draxus. And then it's gonna be GG. Hopefully. Well I've only done three damage to him to the face, so we'll see. What totem is he getting? Taunt, okay. Meh, 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 meh. He has to get through my other two taunts, my 9-9 taunt and my 9-6, so. Ah, I hate that bullshit. Hex. Such a pain in the ass. Such a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Dark bomb. Go three damage. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I want to do first. Uh, 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 okay. 
Let's take that out first. I want him to feel about myself, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, maybe? Wait, how much does Dark Bomb do? Ooh, there oh, there okay, that's perfect, actually. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah? I think that's right. Maybe. I'm gonna Dark Bomb him. Kill him. And then I'm gonna draw a card. I probably should have drew a card earlier, but it's okay. Oh man, my giants are going down pretty quick. Damn, this isn't that good. Hmm. Alright, uh, they only can draw a card. Other men are supposed to be back. Okay, I need to do a board clear now. Board clear. Destroy friendly minion, deal the damage to all enemy minions. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this down first. That, yes, draw a card. Yes. Now I can start hitting him in the face. Alright, cool. So this deck again, it's all about board clearing. I wanna board clear as much as possible. But this guy is not making it easy at all, but he's playing all these scrub cards now, so I think he's getting low. I think he's getting low on cards, so I think I still have this. I think I still have this in the bag, so we'll see. We'll see. Dang, he just put down like five cards at once. Overload? Okay, that's cool. Summon any random totem. Okay, is that a totem? Oh, totem, totem. okay. Yee, yeah, 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 yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> draw a card. Draw zero. Nice. Do I want to rack this now? No, I don't. I'll do this. Oh, I have nine. Perfect. So I'm going to do Sun Fury right there. I'm gonna do Dr. Boom into the boom. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I like to see. Do some board clearing. And then we got some two taunt. Look at that. Look at that. In one turn, I basically just. Oh, there you go. Done. He just got got. He just got got. Alright, cool. So what am I now bringing? Yeah, I'm 20. So the more you win consecutively, the more stars that you get. So it's actually pretty cool. So if you win more than, if you win like two in a row or three in a row, you actually get more than one star each win. So that's pretty cool. Open your chest at the end of the season, improve your rank to upgrade your chest. Cool. <laughs> real Jorge playing Hearthstone? Oh, JB. JB. Oh, really? You're going to troll me now, huh? Say hi to YouTube. Recording Let's Play Episode 2. <laughs> wow, perfect timing. So JB is actually really good. Hi YouTube. <laughs> so JB is actually really good. He actually created all these decks for me. He knows all the metas. I think he got to rank 3 last season. So pretty pretty good. So I know he's uh he's grinding it. So let me let me talk to him real quick and see. Grinding ranks. Just one two for YouTube series. And might switch to that. Train me. Yeah, so he's really good. He's ranked 14 already. Uh, so 
depending on how well you do at the start of or at the end of last season, you get a certain you start at a certain rank uh, in the next season. So I think he was ranked three, so he starts at fourteen, which saves you a lot of work and a lot of time. So right now, right, what he's doing is he's testing his decks at the moment and not pushing crazy until half a month or so. That makes sense because the first half month you're really just kind of feeling out what the meta is. Uh, what kind of decks are popular, which ones people are using, which ones people aren't using. And then the second half of the month, then you go really hard on actually pushing to uh, the legend, so. Have a good one! Amazing spell! Alright, cool, so that does it for this episode, so episode 2 of Let's Play Hearthstone. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.